up to they have third down and what is that about three or four yeah the ball is marked uh, very near the 13 yard line they've got to go to the 15 all right Jim remember now if they get the first down the clock will stop again as they move the chains and Tom Lott keeps it and Thomas is up for the first down so the clock stops again now at 117 while the chains are put in place you never know how, how important that first down was but relative temperature well there's nothing there for that one, is there? Thomas Lott gave to Kenny King well the wind continuing to blow it's gusting now Nebraska with one time out remaining 47 seconds Oklahoma second down 11 Horace Ivory running behind two blockers and Mike Pulse number 72 Steve Owens Keith Thomas Lott going down the line he gets lassoed around the 21 yard line and that uh, Pittsburgh Penn State game will be significant there's the cannon. The first half is over. The score after the first half of play, Oklahoma 7, Nebraska 3. And starting in the backfield for Oklahoma, we presume, will be the same group that started. Thomas Lott at quarterback, number 6. The running backs out of the wishbone, Elvis Peacock 4 and Horace Ivory 32. And the fullback, Jimmy Colbert, started the game, number 41, was relieved by number 30, Kenny King. The deep men for Oklahoma are Lee Hover, number nine, bottom of the picture, and Freddie Nixon, number 11, top of the picture. Uh, season of 1966 year, 76 year. High, high, high kick. Way up. Hover, three yard line. Got a hole. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Fumble. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oh, they called it dead. Larry Young hit him, knocked it loose. First down, Oklahoma, 27-yard line. Thomas Lott, quarterback, dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Good defensive play. But Steve Rhodes, the split in for Oklahoma, number 24. The big guys in the trenches, Baldersweiler, Melendez, number 60. Farthing is the center. Roberts on the right side. Teams up with uh, Big Mike Vaughn, number 79. And the tight end is number 80, Victor Hicks. Second down, about 11 yards to go. Lott gives it to the second man, and Nebraska. Culbreth is at fullback on third down and 10. And Culbreth has the ball out across the 30 to about the 31, maybe. So, folks, Samuel et al. do a job, don't they? As the defensive unit, the linebackers of Pillen and Whiteman in the secondary for Nebraska, Smith, Butterfield, Harvey, Velasic. Mickey Hatcher is in the front. He's got to hit it into the wind. Not a bad kick. Now let's see how it bounces. And it takes an Oklahoma roll going back to the Nebraska 33-yard line. For Nebraska, Vince Ferragamo at quarterback number 15. Working out of the eye formation, it's the deep man, Monty Anthony. The fullback is Dodie Donnell. Your wingback is Dave Shamblin, 81. Their first offensive possession of the second half with the wind at their back. That's Richard Burns coming out of the I formation. He starts instead of Anthony, and he takes it to the Oklahoma 42-yard line. Oklahoma 42 for the Huskers. First step. Pick it up the middle. It is the fullback, Donnell. Hit twice, falls forward inside the 30. Great blocking. Bobby Thomas, the little fella. He's the split in. But here are the big guys. Lingenfelder, 70. Schmidt, 51, the guard. Davis, 52 at center. Jorgensen, 63, the right side. Coins uh, at right tackle. And Spaith, the tight end. First down. Call at the 29-yard line to pitch to Burns. He takes a hard hit from Daryl Hunt, but just inside the 25, as you can see, second down and five. Thomas is wide right. Ferragamo gives it to the fullback, and Donnell is to the 20. Close to a first down. Deep is the unit for the Sooners. Phillips, Hudgens, Murray, Tabor, Selmeyer. Up front, linebackers Moore and Hunt. Secondary for Oklahoma, Peters, Hebert, Hill, and Henderson. Here's where the going gets tough. Third and one at the 20. Oh, 
Bergam will keep. Punching. First down, Nebraska. First down, Husker. The home folks are roaring at the 18-yard line. Ferragamo pitches to Burns. Burns is up into the 16-yard line. Oklahoma, all set for the fiesta on Christmas Day against Wyoming. Second down, eight. Ferragamo to throw it, throws to Shambling at the 10. He's dealt it out at the seven. Craig is in at the wing back. Molito wide to the left. First down, goal to go at the Oklahoma seven. Ferragamo pitches it wide. Here comes Craig, the wing back, reversing into the end zone. And the Orangers start coming onto the field. Nebraska takes the lead for the first time in the ball game. 9.56 to go. Nine minutes and 56 seconds to play in the third quarter, and Nebraska has taken the lead over Oklahoma, 10 to 7. And Vandermeer kicks it off for Nebraska. And that one will go into the next county. There will be no return on that one. Now here's Oklahoma. First down at the 20. Watt keeps it. He's up across the 25 to the 26. Gordon McRae, you're living in Lincoln for a while. Colbert carries. Well, the Oklahoma Sooners hits to the 30-yard line. The Huskers and the Sooners are having at it with Nebraska leading now 10 to 7. And Thomas Lott keeps the ball on the option, turns it up, and there are three red shirts right there to get a hold of him. Good, good size fellow, but he's not quite as heavy. Second down and four from the 36-yard line. It is Horace Ivory diving for the first down. Lott still got it. Nebraska's got it. George Andrews, number 96, recovers. Mike Bolts penetrated and knocked it loose. Burns is the eye back behind Donnell and Ferragamo, the quarterback. Burns has got it. Give it to Thomas, back to Ferragamo, throwing for space. He's got it down inside the tent. There's a little fancy stuff for you, isn't it? Ferragamo, 91 yards, 5 out of 13 in his passing. He keeps it. And goes to the three-yard line. Donnell and Burns are the setbacks out of the eye behind Ferragamo. It's Burns. Touchdown. Great effort. here. I want you to give the second effort and turn and lunge the ball across that plane right there. And a score for the Nebraska Corn Husker. Score is now 17-7 Nebraska. The chill factor minus seven. I'll preface the next period of action with that little piece of information for Oklahoma to receive the kickoff along with Freddie Nixon. Vandermeer hits it, sails it, goes into the end zone, and is kicked out of the end zone. And Oklahoma, Oklahoma sets up in the wishbone. Kenny King, the fullback in motion. Lott keeps it, trips and falls behind the line of scrimmage from the 18-yard line. Second down, 11 yards to go from the 19-yard line of Oklahoma. Lott keeps it, down he goes behind the line. It's a sensational effort by Jeff Pullen. The Cornhuskers are taking force Oklahoma to point here. They're going to get that ball in very good field position. I think Oklahoma's going to get ding five yards for too much time right here. A little hole up the middle for Horace Ivory. Gets it back to about the 19 to the 20. Here's the punt. And the wind got a hold of it. It does take a little Oklahoma roll, but nonetheless, Nebraska gets the football first down 
And it's first down at the Oklahoma 42-yard line. And the Huskers have been tough in the third quarter. Ferragamo gives it to Burns. And that time, Oklahoma's able to get a hold of him. Second down, nine from the 41 for Nebraska. And Ferragamo gets it away. And it is incomplete. There was good pressure, however, on Ferragamo on the throw. Third down, nine from the 41 of Oklahoma. Vince back to throw again. Pumps once, going deep. Deep into the corner. And it is incomplete. Hebert, number 33. Steve Rand is going to try to dump it down inside the 10 if he can. There's a knuckleball. Bearcat just called. It's bouncing around. He did his job. Look at that. Oklahoma in a hole. Big oh, hole. They let it out of there. Oh. oh. They call Shamblin. They say Shamblin. That's <laughs> bad eyesight. <laughs> First down at the 20 for Oklahoma lot. Pitches it wide at Peacock to the sidelines to the 26 yard line for six yards and Ray Phillips. Pretty much warmer on the Oklahoma side. Keith? That's relatively speaking, right? <laughs> Here goes the oh, up the field. Fumbles the ball, dives for it, may get it back. He does. So big run by King. Lot still got it. Pitches it outside to Horace Ivory. Ivory gets outside and gets yarded. All the way down to the Nebraska 30-yard line. Ted Harvey. Every time one of them gets their hands on the ball, whether it's King, Ivory, or Peacock, there goes King. Kenny King, the fullback, hitting it up over the left side behind Melendez and right here on ABC. Second down. They need about three yards. Colbert is into the ball game at fullback. And Colbert hits him to the 16-yard line of Nebraska. Coming down on a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. First down at the Nebraska 16-yard line. Lott still got the ball, turns it. And he doesn't get a whole lot out of it. Maybe four yards. Just Jody Farthing over the ball. Lott turns, gives it to the fullback. And Jim Culbreth, the senior out of Yeadon, Pennsylvania. They don't make it on this playoff, but they go for it on four. So they've got two downs to make two and a half. Second man, Peacock. Percy Eichelberger. And Cletus Pillen, Eichelberger got him, stopped him. On fourth down, they're going to go. If they'd waited, they'd have had a better shot at a field goal if they decided to go for it. Thomas Lott is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Fumbles the ball. They're going to blow it dead before the fumble. And it's going to be blown dead short of the first down. Third quarter is over. Nebraska leads 17 to 7. Oklahoma missed by the better part of a yard at getting the first down. A victory sends them to the Orange Bowl. They share the conference title with Colorado and Oklahoma State. Ferragamo hands the ball to Richard Burns coming out of that deep back position. And it is second down and 10 from the seventh for Nebraska. Pressure's on the Oklahoma defense right now to hold Nebraska down there. Ferragamo rifles a shot to Shemblin and he gets up to the 26 yard line. First down, Nebraska. First down, Cornhuskers, their own 26 yard line. It's Burns. Jammed up. No place to go and drop. It's second down and about 13 yards to go. For Nebraska, back around the 18-yard line. Fullback Donnell hits it. Well, he's going to throw. There oh. comes Hunt. Hunt missed him, but the rest of the Sooners were over there, and they were able to get in. Mike Phillips and Obi Moore. Big rush. Punt is away. Pretty fair punt, too, into that win. Hover's got it back at the 39. Anywhere. And he retreats to the 37. So there, oh, it's first down at the 37-yard line for Oklahoma. They trail 17 to 7. Thomas Lott keeps the ball, pitches it wide to Horace Ivory, runs through one tackle. Good play by Ivory. There's the total on the Oklahoma rushing for the day. They've spread it around pretty well. On first down, Lott keeps it, gives it back to Peacock. And Peacock may go. Goodbye. Fifty-one yards. Elvis Peacock, when he gets that much open field, if they fail here, then they're going to really have to get to work. Lot keeping, pitching. Peacock dies. No. Didn't make it. Just. So it is 17-13 as Oklahoma kicks off. It goes to Curtis Craig up on the six-yard line. And Craig is hammered 
With 12.23 to go in the ball game, they run 56 plays. Right now it's Nebraska in possession, first down at the 19. They need some first downs for a while here to keep possession. It burns, trying to get to the sidelines. He gets up to about the 21. Look how close he comes to the line. Now we're screened off by an Oklahoma sign there on the back of that jacket, but as he moves away from that right here, you'll see the peacock, his shoulders, number four there, are on the left side of the goal line. Ferragamo throws to burn. And the pass is complete. Alito is way, way, way wide to the left. Out of the picture for Nebraska. Ferragamo wants to throw, has a man, hit Shamblin. First down, Nebraska. That's a gutsy call. Shamblin now three catches. Thirty-four. Thousand dollars given to his general scholarship fund of his university by Chevrolet. It's Donnell, the fullback, straight ahead on first down from the 30, from the 23. And Run that clock down, that's what they're hoping for. Ferragamo is going to put it up. Throws to space, off his hands, incomplete. It is third down and nine from the 22 of Oklahoma. That's Monty Anthony. And the Nebraska offensive front Blowing them out of there right now. And they're going to go on fourth and a long two. Ferragamo to throw. Incomplete intended for Shemplin. Zach Henderson knocked it loose. Three and a half minutes to play in the game. Get the football. First down at their own 16-yard line. Last time they had it, they fumbled it away. Lot pitches it outside. Oh, We've got an option play going here. With Woody Shepard, throws it downfield. The pass is complete to Steve Rhodes, the wide receiver, the first Oklahoma pass of the day. And it's a first down. Change in field position. Here's another angle from the ground level. There's the throw, and he's knocked down just at that point. He I'll doesn't you, know that he completed that pass. That Woody Shepard, that sophomore for Odessa, turned a pretty fair play there. The ball goes to Kenny King from the 37 to the 35. So it is Mathis. Chattanooga, Tennessee, wide to the right side. Thomas Lott coming down the line, gets away from the pursuit coming from the back side. That was pulling number 66. 31 yard line, third down. They need three. Lott keeps it upfield, got a first down to the 25. Pillin again on the tackle. First down, Oklahoma. Lott wants to throw. Nope, it's going to be a reverse, and the uh, wide receiver Rhodes is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Number 75, it looked like. So, so it is second down at about 16 for Oklahoma. Nebraska with a six-man front. Lott back to throw. Nobody to throw to. And they get him on the 34-yard line. Ron Pruitt and Randy Fisher. It is third and 20. And Dean Blevins is the quarterback. He throws it. He hits low. Oh, he oh. fishes it to Peacock. Peacock, first down, out of bounds. That's the goal line. Oh, the old flea flicker, how do you do? <laughs> wow. Number 10, Peacock. Number 10, Peacock. Number 10, Peacock. No timeouts remaining. This is as well executed as you could uh, on any kind of a play. The, the pass is just right. The timing is just right. Lot is back in. No timeouts remaining. First and goal at the two. The pitch wide. It's Peacock. It's touchdown. 38 seconds to play. Morris Ivory through a sensational block to get Peacock into the end zone. And Oklahoma has regained the lead. There's only 38 seconds remaining. Incredible. What a drive. Ron Truman is out to kick. Hits it out of Hebert's hole, and he just drilled it. So, lightning strikes for the Sooners. Zach Henderson on Nebraska's last offensive yeah. possession. Pretty big, too. Here's a pop-up by Von Chumman. Short. It is taken by Dodie Donnell, the short man. He runs it back across the 40 to the 41. Now They're fighting the win. Well, you know that Bill Mallory and the Colorado Buffaloes are dancing right now. Ferragamo's running. He's just going to take it up. He'll get his first down and then take it out of bounds to stop the clock at 25 seconds. So I would think probably Colorado would go on to the Orange Bowl on the basis of a tie. Ferragamo will throw it. 
He goes, and the pass is incomplete to Melito. That's Free River Stadium to be seen here on ABC. Back goes Ferragamo, and he's melted by Greg Selmeyer. He is sacked back at the 48-yard line and hurt. That's Prung Peacock for the go-ahead touchdown. There's a big load. In, Randy Garcia. Gets the pass away, down the sideline, out of bounds. Time expires, and the Oklahoma Sooners have now beaten the Nebraska Cornhuskers five consecutive times. And congratulations to the Colorado Buffaloes. Fellas, you can pack your swimsuit and think about going to Florida. <laughs>